Sri Lanka's Agriculture Minister has announced that an organic fertilizer sent by an Indian company has been approved for use. Minister Mahindananda Alutgamangi uh, made the announcement in the Sri Lankan Parliament. He said that the National Plant Quarantine Service had given the green light for the Indian fertilizer. The minister said discussions are underway to import a nano-nitrogen fertilizer from India and if there is a supposed delay in shipments, then they will be importing the fertilizer via aircraft. This comes after earlier samples from China had tested positive for the presence of the Erwinia bacteria, which is harmful for certain cultivations in the country. Speaking in the parliament, the minister said that the government will never import fertilizer that is harmful for humans, animals and plants and will only import fertilizer that meets the standards imposed by the Sri Lanka Standards Institute. Later, on the 29th of September, the Agriculture Minister announced the suspension of organic fertilizer imports from China. He assured that the suspension of Chinese organic fertilizer will not impact the harvesting season in the country and that the necessary fertilizer will be released from the Maha season cultivation on the 12th of October. Take a look at this report sent by our correspondent, the Sunni Athoda from Colombo. Sri Lanka's regulatory authorities gave the green light for the samples of Indian fertilizer that were tested here in laboratories to be used for the upcoming sowing season. Now, this comes in the wake where a batch of Chinese fertilizer, 96,000 metric tons of fertilizer that were to be brought into the country, did not pass the necessary standard tests as that set of organic fertilizer contained a harmful bacteria named Erwinia, which is known to damage and destroy crops. Now, just speaking in Parliament, yesterday, the Agriculture Minister Mahinda Nanda Alutgamage did say that the Indian organic fertilizer samples did pass the necessary tests and that the government is looking at importing them at the earliest. That's not all. Much discussion is currently ongoing as to whether this fertilizer will arrive in the country on time as one of Sri Lanka's main sowing seasons, known as the Maha season, begins in the middle of this month and government is planning to bring this fertilizer by the 12th of October. Now, meanwhile, agri-analysts in the country have said that this decision of the government to completely ban the use of chemical fertilizers is a little too soon and a little too fast and has not been done with due diligence. That's the latest from here in Colombo. Reporting for We On, World Is One, I'm Dasunia Kauda. We On, now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.